guys, Ryan here. Welcome back to SC2VN. I'm gonna get used to that title eventually. I know I will. Okay, let's go back to the game. This game is going insanely, insanely well. Though Axel looks, although Axel took his expansion before I did, the damage he took puts us on even footing. Yep. Now, I fill up with my army with an army of Marines, Martyrs, and drop dropships, the bread and butter of most Terran players. Since I cleared the space between our bases, he's in the dark about the timing, the timing of his next attack. There's a solid chance that I could do enough damage here to end the game. But just as I arrived at the outskirts of Axel's expansion, one of his, one of his dropships explodes a handful of marines in my base. <laughs> That's going to slow down my ability to reinforce. Whoa, shit! With my focus on the drop in my main, Axel rushed into the army. I left outside of his base while I wasn't paying attention. He's got a gun cave for formation around me. And just like that, my advantage ev evaporates. Though I managed to stay in the game for a bit longer, Axel wisely guards his lead by immediately taking the third base. Mm. Oh, wow. Soon enough, his economic advantage is reflected in the size of his army. After my blunder, Axel's play was airtight. There really wasn't anything for me to do. That's loud. With a groan, I offer a GG and concede the match. <clears throat> I didn't exactly throw my lead, but I did get seriously outplayed. Fantasizing about how a victory would have felt doesn't help me help, help me keep my mind off the loss. Knowing that I did my best only helps so much. But not a moment later, Axel turns the corner with a smile and raised eyebrows. Good game, and you're actually not bad. I assume you were here for fun or something. Oh, thanks. I'm here for fun, though. I am here for fun, though. You play really well. I'm surprised. Most foreigners don't like hit timings like that. Good, good vision control, too. And your scouting was top-notch. You're really not on a team? Or at least, are you at least staying on a, at a team house? Or are you studying abroad? Nothing like that. I'm staying by myself in an apartment by the VSL Studios. So you came to Korea alone on, and did your own dime? On your own dime? And you're not just visiting? Er... Da, 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 yes? I do my best not to seem awkward about my answer, but any reason to worry disappears when Axel smiles. I ship it. It took some serious guts to move out here like that. I can't think of a single person who's made it out here on their own. A few nearby competitors watch a conversation. It's probably not often that Axel gives his attention to a random nobody. He crushes it early in a bracket. I've still got some I've got some time before my next game. Let me introduce you to a friend of mine. Oh, sure. With a nod, Axel leads me from the PC area to the back of the cafe. We pass a number known of we passed a number of known players on the way there, most lounging around with no differently than the cafe's other patrons. Maybe they are that different. I guess even professionals like to kick back with the tangled cords and rush of caffeine every now and then. Games shouldn't be all business all the time, although I bet that KPGA executives would disagree. Axel comes to a stop from the constant, from the constant tapping of keyboards. Stop away from the constant tapping of keyboards. Then he pops himself into a seat against the wall and invites me to join him with a wave of his hand. As I take my seat, I look up to find someone I recognize at his side. Is it? Huh. Jet, a Zergen former VSL champion. Interesting. She won StarCraft II's very first grand final back in the beta. A year ago, she might have been the game's most famous player. Her flippant infinite and inflammatory antics have made her somewhat I made her a sam somewhat controversial figure. She rarely GGs and isn't afraid to talk trash on stage. Nice. She looks like it. And there she is, just sitting there. It's all I can do to not stare. A smile plays on her lips when she glances past me to Axel. Seriously, Axel, seriously, stop promising my autograph as a reward for beating you. Hilarious. He can understand you, by the way. Who, who were you up against next round? Some Zerg dishwasher on H L H T slash Ugh. I hate Yeah, Z E B Z. Jet rolls her eyes back to me. After a brief appraisal, she lifts her chin and speaks a single word. Name? What? Oh, I'm Mash. I'm a Terran. I'm on well I'm teamless. Jet shifts her gaze back to Axel as if to ask, why did he bring this new back here? <laughs> But before she can actually say anything, Axel comes to my defense with an easy smile. 
Yeah, you cool it with the judgment until you've seen him play. Plus, you ever hear of a foreigner that came out here alone just to for StarCraft? My man right here did. You have to admit, that's brave. If that endorsement wasn't convincing enough, her, he offers one of his classic grants for good measure. Our spawn seems to satisfy, satisfy her, for now. Well, I try to keep from showing anything con to contradict Doxel's assessment, Jet aims her attention back at me. Didn't see your name on the list of people who made it past the VSL qualifier. How'd you place? I lost my second to last match, the qualifier before that. I dropped out on the final on the final game of the last series. Two attempts without making it? Huh. Hard to tell much from that. Mainly depends on the bracket you had. How do you, how did you live out here with no team? Do you stream or something? I used to stream, but I don't get enough viewers to make any money. My following is pretty small. Small is an, small is an understatement. Non-existent is closer to the truth. So your parents pay for everything? No, I'm here on my summer job earnings and a little bit extra for my grandparents. Hmm, how lucky. I never got handouts. Any handouts. This isn't going very well. Still, Axel looks as collected as ever. I'm watching with a smile as the interrogation continues. That's a smile? That doesn't look right. Did you play Breed War? Not really. I mean, I had a copy as a kid, but I wasn't good. I had to cheat to even finish the campaign. Oh, then you were only a little bit worse than Jed. <laughs> Jet scowls sil silently at the jab. It's true that the two years she spent playing Breed War were mostly unremarkable. This plate. This is your first try at professional gaming? Let me turn this back up now. When I nod, she gives me a hard look. Why are you out here? Eh, what do you mean? I'm sure you're aware of your chances. It's been more than five years since a foreign pro gamer accomplished anything noteworthy in Korea. I know what she's getting at, but it's not like I have a particularly great or unique answer. I scratch behind my head and look away. I mean, why else? I want to become a better StarCraft. Become better at StarCraft. Everyone knows that Korea is the place to do that. And why is that? Well, because the blessed players are out here. What? Uh, what happened? I don't know. No, I'm asking why you want to become better. Oh. Uh. It feels like she's forcibly extracting the truth from me. All the same, I can't leave her expression unanswered. I do my best to avoid showing the embarrassment I feel in my honest response. Because I want to be a, a champion, or at least show that I can compete at that level. Everyone who plays this game wants that, don't they? I wanna be the very best. <laughs> You're right about one thing. Every idiot makes it to Grandmaster and takes a map off of a good player, thanks to their pro gamer material. A champion, huh? Sheesh. She clicks her tongue and sighs, but doesn't seem dis displeased. Well, at least any more so than usual. Nice. I wouldn't have much ground to stand on if I disagreed with her. Jed is one of the few who, who has accomplished what the rest of us dream about. Don't be so harsh. His style is solid, and he stood toe to toe with me for a while. You know, with enough time, he could compete. What do you think? Why don't you practice with him a bit? I could. Little harm in giving him a chance. Oh, wait, back up. What just happened? Did you say practice? And did she say yes? Axel answers her with a pleased expression. Jet takes a moment to scratch up before to stretch out before again crossing her arms across her chest. She's- Stop staring and say something, ma Match. The sound of my name ma wakes me from my stunned silence. I don't upright and not for a flurry of nods. Just what was that? Sorry. I say yes. I definitely say yes. Jet and Axel watch me in silence until I lower myself back into my seat. It takes some determination here alone. So I'm not here alone. Let's see if it translates to wins, eh? With a thumbs up, it's settled. I have somehow found myself with one of the best practice partners in the world. I really hope this isn't just for novelty, the novelty of playing with some random foreigner. Axel, it's about time to get back to All Out Attack. When want you getting DQ'd? If we'll be matching in the semis. Can you be certain? Can you be certain that I didn't lose my mat to match already? What if this was my way of saving face? Funny. Have you lost to a foreigner even once? Hey, you never know who's playing on a barcode account. 
Sure, you don't want to split pot? You want to offer. Glued with you? Not a chance. What about you, Madge? You gotta stick around? The PC bang with the bustle of a tournament isn't a great training environment. The bracket will probably take a few hours to work through, too. No, I'm gonna head home. I've got a lot of practicing to do tonight. Living already? Well, hey, it was good to meet you, man. Be at Golden Zone Fire tomorrow morning and we'll find out if you're overhyped. Will do. I, write, I rise and offer them each a nod and thanks before heading back towards the PC area. Last thing I see is a big smile from Jet as she leans over and wishes something to Axel. <laughs> that evil look, though. I squeeze my way through the growing crowd and manage to make it through the doorway leading outside. When I hit the street, I'm met with a cool breeze and a rush of voices, sound, and light. <sighs> this is it. A shot. One final shot to make it happen. One last chance to live the life I want. I quicken my pace, eager to comfort uh, for the comfort of a dark room and bright monitor. Yep. Mm-hmm. This is the day that everything changes. Can I finally save now? Because I haven't been able to do that. Oh my god. What? 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 No. What? Why am I seeing credits? Oh, wait. That was like just the whole fucking beginning. Oh my god. So now I can finally save, right? True to a word, Jet sent me a reminder to get over to the Golden Zone Fire for some morning practice. I enjoy playing online and all, but matching against someone only a few feet away is more productive. Is way more productive. And I'm gonna stop right there because I have to. So we'll see you guys in the next video. We finally finished.